bite sized Thursday here at Off Slate Media. And once again, we are watching Avatar The Last Airbender. We are on to episode, season three, episode. I forgot what number it is. But we're on Nightmares and Daydreams. I am. <laughs> I'm having internet problems. Regardless, we're, <laughs> we're moving forward in book three, and it's starting to get it's real. It's episode 49. Episode 49. Nightmares and daydreams. Yeah, we are getting like close. Said. Getting close to the end here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yes. But yeah, and, and I am so excited to watch this. I don't remember all that much from when I originally watched it. I know this is when he can't sleep before the um the invasion. I'll tell you the two things I remember from it. First being a funny one. There is a fight scene between Momo and Appa Hell that yes. I just remember being the funniest freaking thing I ever. want D. Bradley Baker to voice be voicing all of that <laughs> I also remember that when I was a kid way back and I guess I wasn't even a kid way back when when this first aired and I first watched it I didn't like this I remember you were in college was I really this is like 2007 like seven seven? so mm-hmm. this I must have seen this like when I was back at my parents house during the summer or something so I, I've watched it since, and I like it now. But that, mm. that first couple of times I watched it, like, I did what not. What is going on? I did not care for it. Yeah. Well, I I am excited to. Two thousand seven. Re- yep. I am excited to rewatch this again. Jay, do you remember anything before we rewatch? Want to rewatch this? All I can remember is that when you're when you're binging the show, and the one I don't think I saw this live. I, I know I did. I, I when I watched through with my brother that I've referenced every every time. I feel like when you're just trucking along, you get to this one, because it's right before, again, right before the invasion, mm-hmm. you just, you put it on, you're kind of in and out, paying attention, it's like, I just want to get through this to get to, yeah. It's getting close. You want to get, see some battles. Is it, oh, all I remember no, okay. is uh, Aang, Aang is trying to sleep. Yes. Is, I, I is there anything else in the episode? That's all I, I remember. That's all I remember is that he can't Sheep. sleep. Oh, and Sheep. Sokka with that beard again. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I remember. <laughs> that's right. He pulls out the nice beard. Yep. Hell yeah. All right. Well, I am excited to watch this. Let's do this. Let's take a bite. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, we just watched Daydreams and Nightmares. Nightmares and Daydreams, wasn't it? Say, yeah. Daydream, nightmares. Day- Same thing. Nightmares and Daydreams. Nightmares, yeah. Episode 49. Episode 49. And oh my God. Okay. I have a hot take. Yeah. This might. You know, I just watched it, so it's very fresh in my mind. This might be one of my favorite episodes of the whole show. Uh, yeah, it's dumb humor. Dickie loves dumb humor. Well, it's dumb humor, but it's also like laid over like a real good issue, and it's, it's something that he's has to work through. And I think it does it really That's well. Fair. Like especially like just like I I always love that fact that it's the at the end of the day it comes down to positive support from the gang, and that's what helps get him to sleep. And I think that's a really positive message. So that's why I think like this is like this is like up there in my I yeah, like the like, message and how it works. The, the thing you said where I'm, I start I get stressed because I'm thinking about how much stressed I am. and I get more stressed. I'm like, oh I, yeah. Everybody feels that. Everybody. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say I think I, I think I remember now why I didn't like it so much. Well, there's a couple different reasons. One, um, back when I want to watch this when it first aired, I was not uh, as schooled in anime as I am now. Mm. Um. And so a lot of the tropes I just didn't get back then. Um, Question about that one after your point. uh, But then also, like, I'm a person that has very vivid dreams. And I have been in that situation where they won't let me sleep. And then I'll just keep having them and keep having them. And I I think that bit of it subconsciously gives me a bit of anxiety. It hits you a little harder than I was. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, and then the oogies. Yes. The what? The oogies. The, the kissing. Oh. The- <laughs> and then the forever girl. <laughs> that was You're so, my forever that girl. Was so crazy. What were you Baby. Dream- <laughs> what, baby. What were you It was such about? a long pause, too. <laughs> what like, were you, what would you, uh, living underwater. Oh. Sounds cool. cool. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, I was going to say that, so. Another relatable it, it's, thing. So. Aang's dream where he's coming into you know, going through the door in the various get-ups and with the... You know, now, is that supposed to be... I know it's just anime in general. Is it more close to resemble to, like, Dragon Ball? Dragon Ball's the first one. Naruto is the second one. Okay. Um, and then, the third one, I'm not 
really sure. It's a, it's like a design that I recognize, but I'm not willing to definitively say an anime that I think it's from. So he, because he's got like the Goku type hair. Yep. In the, in the second one, he's, he's always got, like got hair. It's yeah, it's the Akatsuki type ep, gotcha. uh, garb. Yeah, is it still Dragon Ball or just anime in general when the like what are those koala sheep or whatever those are? Oh, I, I are all cheering for the Appa Momo fight. That, that's just that's just pandemonium. Okay, that's not that's not that's not specifically. Anime. That is the type of that is the type of pandemonium anime can devolve into. But there's a lot of pandemonium in Ranma one half. Yeah, there is a lot of pandemonium oh, in one half. Yeah. Pandemonium. Ah, 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 Gamma. Yeah, I, I was going to say, uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. The the crowd cheering, all it reminds me of, which again, it's making fun of, it. Uh, Mahumushi from the from Channel Chasers. Oh, the Fairly yeah. Odd Parrot special where the last channel is is the, the Dragon Ball ripoff where they're, ah, ooh, ah, in the crowd every five seconds. <laughs> was so, that one of the TV movies? Yeah. That's when they have the remotes and they're going right. through all the different animations. Is that one styles. of the Jimmy Neutron crossovers too? No, I don't, I don't think that was the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour. I remember the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour. I, mean, I remember being thoroughly them. freaked out by the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour. <laughs> well, when they go to that, when they when they're in Dimsdale, it's fine. Yeah, but when they, they go, go to in, Retroville, yeah. it's creepy. <laughs> I, did, I don't know why, but that that uh, especially. Professor Calamitous's head on Jorgen's body in that animation is disturbing. Oh, I'd say, like, <laughs> that's honestly what this, and I'm not saying, like, the animation in this stuff gets, like, that disturbing, but, like, they get some, they get sort of crazy with it. Like, they make Aang's face do all sorts of, like, well, and then, stuff. out of all his dreams, it's like, okay, that one dream where he's, like, sees, like, all of his friends die. <laughs> yeah. That, I was like, okay, yeah. And I went, oof. Like, yeah, they, they like, it got really so, serious. So, it was, so Sokka gets, like, engulfed in, like, what was that, like, like earth or something, and Katara yeah. surrounded by fire, which calls back in because he hurt her with fire, so that's mm-hmm. probably why. What was Toph oh, again? Oh, that makes sense. I didn't think about what that. happened to what Toph, Toph again? Did she get drowned or something or covered in ice? He got covered yeah. in ice. That's right. To watch Katara, but what was Toph? I don't I I because like the other two were like oof that I mean that's very very smart of them because it is like like you said a real issue mm-hmm. yeah oof and then that image of just Zuko standing over him through the ice yeah really that was good so great. it's kind of like a harbinger too of like that's yeah. who ends up being is of course spoilers his his uh, f- his firebending teacher yeah I, I, that that last they definitely. Put a couple of Easter eggs in there as to what it's going to happen. Well, it right also there. it also calls back to him being stuck in the ice too. They do oh, so many right. good like I didn't even call real back subtle that. like callbacks and future clues. Yeah, kind of interchangeably. Yeah. yeah, it 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 it's just that it's the type of show where it's just like they had to have had this all planned out the entire time. Like one thousand, yeah. like not specific specific, but like yeah, like they did. I'm not, but like another thing that we were talking about is like as it was going, this is the first time we've seen Zuko in since a like the number beach, of weeks. I feel like, mm-hmm. and yeah. like I appreciate that about the show. Like I didn't even realize it until Jared said something. I was like, they do such a good job of like you can remove a primary character and like you don't notice their absence until they come back and like you feel that weight shift and they yeah and they shift it well because like i feel like in other, i've i've seen other shows or like where they jump around from storyline to storyline but i, I miss this i want to go back to see what they're doing and that you don't even question it it's just you're catching up with like hanging all them and it's, well, it does it much and better. part of that is because zuko just has such a good arc yeah like this and, is like a this is this episode i think i we say all before like it's been like Pushing up, it's been catching up. It's almost to the point where he's going to turn, and you can really see it when he gets the, gets the seat at his table. He's mm-hmm. like, "I'm not happy." So I'm like, "Yeah, that's not." I was who he wants me to be, but that's not me. Mm-hmm. He, he he finally realizes that. I'm like, yes. It might not have been the beach. I think he's in the Avatar and the Fire Lord, right? Because it's the two sides of the story. Yes. I, we 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 may have had a little bit of a break between filming a couple of these, so <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> Was the Avatar and the Fire Lord the 
That's the story, the backstory of Backstory Roku. one. And yeah. then after that's the runaway, which wasn't, weren't they cutting away to something? I I can't remember. No, he wasn't in the runaway. Because the runaway was primarily Toph. Okay. Like, he doesn't really have a thing to do there. The point being... Probably not in the Puppet Master, for sure. Yeah, so... It had been a second, but also, like, it's... Uh, the the change is there. It's... Mm-hmm. He should be happy, and he's not. Yeah. And <laughs> it only took five seconds of, like... Because he's being all chummy and woo with May there. And he's like, I, you know... Why don't I, you know, I could make that happen about a fruit tart covered in rose petals. And I told Game these guys, I, I told these guys like, okay, this because once it's the, the, yeah, the war meeting, it's like, what? And it goes back to angsty Zuko. Mm-hmm. I'm mad at everything in a second. I was like, okay, there he is. We were getting too chummy. We were getting too weird. Okay. We're back to good old angry Zuko. <laughs> I'm familiar with this. Yeah. I, it, yeah. Him and May in this episode, they, like, just those two get weirder and weirder by the second. Yeah, th- their relationship is weird. <laughs> Especially when she's like, oh, we can go order our own the servants. And but make the, them I could get a whole tray of <laughs> fruit tarts. But then, like, but then, like in the, in, I've only read the first one of the comic. Oh, it's the first two. Because the, the search is the second one. Okay. The promise is the, the first promise. one. The second is the, the search is the second one. I've read the first two. It gets so weird because, like, She's always there, and they always act, like talk like they're dating. But then she's like, "You're never gonna see me again." But then she's in like the next chapter. It's I, I, somehow those comics are able to maintain the vibe. Maintain, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. But then also the oogies get oogier in the series, Oogies. and it, and they say something about it every every time it happens. Every single time. That on a t-shirt, the oogies get oogier. <laughs> oogies get oogier. <coughs> yeah, it is kind of weird. We're we're cutting from like, you know, super serious Zuko's not fitting in and being all, it's just not me. <laughs> then to <laughs> like that, just ang running around going, whoa, whoa, whoa I can't sleep. <laughs> What was he like again? The one more time? Uh, which one? The, the whole thing. <laughs> oh, I just, ah! I'm going to stay awake until... And it's like, I haven't done that before. It's like, well, mm-hmm. can't sleep. Looks like I'm staying up for this the couple hours. Oh, I, yeah. I was like, usually it's just been because like I've had to like get home, like homework done last minute. Or like I have something to go in the morning. Or just you can't sleep. And it's like, well, it looks like I'm going to be on my phone for the next three hours. That is the worst. And then the day starts. You're like, okay, I'm okay. And then... By like noon, you're like, oh, yeah. Believe me, I like, I work the night shift, and this speaks spiritually to me because I'm like, I feel like hang all the time. I'm always the oh. What I mean? Did you just say you work the graveyard shift? Yeah. So it was like, yeah. That's why I'm like, I feel that. So I I used to think this episode was like all of them having dreams for some reason. I you know saw so like. Ten years ago, last time he or makes Saka climb the kit lift. Oh, yeah, that was a good. Design. Don't drink that. Ah! <laughs> when spits it all over guitar because she just bends it right off. I know. Toph used the bathroom, but that's we all died because of your tiny bladder. <laughs> and you you had to cut your hair because your hair was well, your hair got caught in a got in a train on a caught, train. Yeah. I love it so good. Yeah, it's and it is a good. Uh, Kind of pre-invasion, kind of like okay, we're the story has slowed down because we have to focus on mm-hmm. character okay. stuff, and this character thing is like, yeah, there's an incredible amount of stress on him because not only is the balance of the world in his hands, he's technically a little kid. And they always like they always mention that what? like the whole, throughout every episode, like the, he, he has to stay there, he has to stay there. But like I like that they, they took one whole ass episode and made about like yeah, like look at like what he has to do. It's kind of crazy. Well, and he, um, I don't know what the show would have been if they would have ignored the fact that he's technically not a complete avatar. Mm-hmm. Like, they're not, up until now, they've not addressed it. They don't even talk about it until this episode. That's true. That he's not done yet. They just, day of Black Sun, that's the day we're going to go. And it's never, well, what about firebending? We, 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 we can't even firebend. It's well, fine. That, it, it, yeah. And that kind of seems like a, a shrug off, but it's not, really. And, and that, if you don't know where the show's going, have you ever seen it? 
that should be a clue of like, I don't think this is going to work. Because yeah. the whole point of the show is him learning all four and elements. In, in hindsight, an older Jake, again, this is spoilers for the future because we already uh, have all seen this already. Um, why would you look at this and think Eclipse, Fire Nation won't realize that they lose their power during an eclipse? Why would a civilization go through its entire <laughs> progression and not realize that? Yeah, maybe that's, I'm that's just a good point. No, that's maybe fair. I'm just picking it apart. That's a fair point. Could... Like, because it's only been like what eighty years, something. Last comment. That's on. Yeah. Yeah. No. It couldn't have been eighty years I from an eclipse. Know. It was still a long time. Though. Maybe they. But hey, I know they're supposed to look look like anti books over there. So are they? So they kind of. So maybe they don't read it. I don't know. Yeah, but the thing about anti book people. They always keep the knowledge that's important for themselves. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Anyway, anything else about this episode? Let's let's get to the invasion. Dude, I'm so excited. Thank you for listening to today's episode. In the next episodes, we are working closer and closer to the finale. But until the finale, Jared, where can they follow us online? You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, the funny TikTok, and X. And you can listen to us on Apple, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and hey, if it's YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, ring our bell, make sure you rate us and like us on all those apps, and uh, check out our groovy website. Absolutely. So, yes, thank you for listening to today's episode. Next week we have, what is the next one t- called? The Day of the Black Sun, Part, part one. 1. The, the invasion. invasion. You think I would know that? <laughs> because we said it like seven times, like, this is the episode before the invasion. This is the episode before the Hey, the invasion's tomorrow. So, yeah, next week we're going to be watching the invasion. Woohoo! Let's go! Thank you guys for watching today and for next week and for every time you want to watch us talk about Avatar, make sure to take a bite.